everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week we're gonna continue working through our newest releases. So in this combination, it's actually a few sets put together, but I'm gonna show you how to put this together. And actually you can switch out a lot of these different elements. The more that you watch these videos, the more you're gonna see that you can do that. If you don't have these specific long stamps, you can use something else that you have. The whole technique is made to work together and all of these elements should be interchangeable. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we're gonna need a few things. So this is one of our newest uh, releases, the Watercolor Rustic Container Set. And we're gonna use this little wooden basket right here uh, in the little critters. So this is the Watercolor Cat Set. And there's several different ones that you can use. You could use any of these in that basket. Uh, I'm gonna use this one right here. We're also gonna use some elements from the new watercolor set, the new flower set too. Uh, we're gonna use this one, this little cluster of blooms right here, and this long stem right here. Uh, in addition, the foliage set, so this is the new one. We're gonna use the straight vine. So this now is um, very similar to the vine that's in the first foliage set. So if you don't have this one, you can use that one for sure. So we're gonna use that. And then in the flower set, the first one, we're gonna use this little filler flower right here. Okay, so let's get going. I hope you love this project. It's so fun. I love putting these little characters in things and I plan to add a bunch more of those just because I think they're so fun. Uh, so we're gonna ink this little basket. This is a little wooden basket so you can uh, decide if you want it to be mostly white. Uh, you would start with the African violet, but we're gonna start with the sepia. So I ink the whole thing, but I'm gonna take a little bit of this color off. The center, I'm gonna take some of the center color off, and then the bottom. So about the bottom third, I'm gonna take that off because I'm gonna put this in the middle of a little field of flowers. So we're gonna stamp it in here like that, and it should look about like that. Let me show you again what we're doing. So I'm hanging this over, so when this little cat is sitting in the basket, everything is sort of going every which way. So we want it, this to look really pretty flat here where he's sitting. So that means that this foliage is gonna come off the sides. And then we're putting this basket in this field of flowers, so we're gonna remove part of this bottom part so that we can put those flowers in, okay? When you're using stamps, you have so much versatility. And don't forget that because you can use whatever part of the stamp that you want to use. Okay, so our first step is to pull the color out of the lines, and that's exactly what we're doing. This little band, these bands across the, t uh, across the front are gonna stick out. So we wanna come clear across uh, with this shadow line. Okay, you see how that pops that little ring out of there? that little ring around the basket. And now we're gonna come in here and get this area here. Because these are little planks, they're, they're, they're a bit rounded, and so that darkest color, remember, is gonna be on the sides. Stay in the, stay in the lines, remember we don't cross over any of these horizontal lines. Okay, so we've got this about done. Let's put our little flowers down here in the bottom. And that's this little um, group of blooms here. Uh, we're going to color this in two colors to start. So let's do the violet. That's the number eight violet. And the olive green, two of my favorite colors. And we're going to do this on the sides. So one, two, and let's ink it again. This doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to just kind of blend this all together. Um, so don't stress out over this. So then a couple more times, and we should have a little spot open in the middle for another color. So you can clean your stamp off however um, you normally do. If you watch any of my videos, you know I use my thumb a lot. So that's why it looks like this. Uh, but that's just because I'm so impatient and I wanna get on to the next step. Okay, so I'm using the Prussian Blue now. So that is the number 29. And I'm just gonna come in here in the center and add this little color, just like that. Okay, so now grab your brush. And remember, we're just dabbing. Just dabbing. These are tiny, tiny little lines, and so we just uh, wanna get the tiniest amount of water on here. So I'm coming in here doing the purple ones first, so that's the violet. Don't be afraid to go outside the lines and make a few little dots back here because you've got a lot of color on your brush and you can do that. Clean your brush off now, dip it off, dip it and clean it off and then come back in here with the blue. This is the Prussian blue. And again, we're doing that same little dabbing 
motion. It's okay to kind of mix this up and get a little blue into the purple, that's okay. This whole technique is a lot of blending. Okay, we've got our little flowers in here now, looks pretty good. So let's come in and do the foliage on the top. So I'm going to use uh, that flat, the flat vine. And I don't really need this much of this stem here. So I'm just gonna kinda do this. I'm gonna bring one down, see across the middle, and then come out. Remember, get this in here a bunch of times. And we want, kinda want this flat look, so we don't want a, a ton of branches going up into this space. I want this to kind of look flat here. And then add your water and just soften. Soften these lines. Remember you're dabbing. Your hand is flat on the table, so no stabbing. No stabbing at these lines. Just dab with the side of your brush. So important to do that. Okay, so we got our little vines in here. See how quick this is? So fast and easy. So let's go on to our little filler flower. So this is from the flower set, the original flower set. And those of you who have used this, you've probably used this a ton of times. We use this in everything. Remember, we're walking it in a circle. And I'm just inking a couple. I don't need a lot of these blooms. This is a pretty small little um, basket. So I don't need a lot. So I'm just getting a little color in there. I'm gonna dip my brush now and just blend, just dab. And remember this is kind of looking flat here. You can carry that blue, you know, uh, into another area here, that's okay. Perfectly fine to do that. Okay, so we've got our, um, our blooms in here. Let's put our little cat in the basket now. So I'm gonna use the positioner just because I wanna make sure that he is not uh, floating out in space. So I'm gonna use a light color. Uh, I wanna kinda make this little guy uh, light because we're gonna put a blue sky behind him. So I'm using the number 40 brownish gray. So it's, it's a little bit like sepia, only it's just a much lighter color, more of a pastel. So I'm gonna put this in the corner now. I'm gonna stamp that right in the corner so that I can see exactly where I want this little guy to be. And that looks pretty good right there. So I'm just gonna remove the shield and just ink this up again one more time. If you want to make this cat a little darker color, a darker gray or maybe a tabby, um, a gold or a stripe, um, you, can, you can use the sepia as well. So it just kind of depends on what color you want to make him. Okay, so now we've got him sitting in the little basket. Uh, the first thing we always want to do is darken that eye. When you're doing this watercolor, you're stamping on watercolor paper, it's really hard to get these small, small areas really dark. So we want to always go back in there and do that. That's really, really important to do that. So now we're going to pull the color out of the lines. So just drag this over. And this is gonna be pretty light. This is really light here. And we'll come back and add some more color to it. So we're just doing the first step. Remember with any of the characters that you're, you're doing this technique with, remember that you want to keep the face light. That's so important, keep that face light. Oops, got a little blue on here, but that's okay. We can always fix that. Okay, so now let's go on to the next step, and that is to put our uh, little long stems in. So let's get that one. And we're gonna ink this in two colors. So that's the magenta. And this is the olive green. And we're gonna just kinda stamp this out to the side. We wanna start here where the cat is sitting in the basket, so here where his feet are. And we're gonna kind of bring this out, see, like this. Let's do it again. And it looks like he's just sitting in the middle of this bouquet and he's completely ruined 
um, this basket. And the flowers are kind of going every direction. But so cute that way. And let's put one more, maybe down here. Okay, so let's add some water now to our little blooms. Just like this. That looks good. Now we're gonna add some, uh, a little more color to the background. And we're gonna put some sky in here. We want this little guy to really pop out. And so we wanna kind of surround him with color. And I'm gonna do that with the Prussian blue. So I've got a lot of warm colors going on here. So I'm gonna really add some sky back in here. And when you're doing this, uh, make sure you have enough water. That is, that's the reason that a lot of people struggle with the skies because they don't have enough water on their brush. And if you don't, you're gonna see a lot of brush strokes. And that's what we're trying to avoid. We want this to be really smooth. And we're just gonna do a little bit. Don't overthink this. And I'm kind of surrounding him with this color because he's, he's very light and I want him to pop out. So I wanna put this color in the background. And you can put some more of it down in here, it's okay. That always makes something light uh, pop out when we surround it with color. That's the best way. And you can see I'm just kind of layering this color in just a little bit at a time. And if you feel like you have, you have too much color in here, just dip your brush and pinch it off, just plain water, and just kind of blend this out. It'll get lighter and lighter. And you can see how the sky just kind of fades out now. So easy. Let's take a little of this blue now and just add some to the basket. Remember where it's the darkest, that would be on the sides. That's where the color is gonna be the, the darkest. And we're gonna kind of drag it over to the center. You can put any color in here. You can use any color on this basket. Remember you're just it's a, it's a bit of a process, so you're just kind of gradually bringing that color in. Don't cross the lines. I know I say that a million times, but it's so important not to do that. Just keep adding this color on. It's gonna get darker and darker. And blend that out a little bit. Okay. Let's take a little green now on our palette. And we're gonna put some lines in here. We're gonna just kind of drag this color out. Just take a little of this color uh, from your palette. This is the olive green. And just put a little ground in here. We can add some of this color into the basket too. Don't be afraid to do that. Add a mix of colors. Kind of brings everything together. Okay, so we've got this little cat. You can leave him white or we can add some more color to it. Let's just do that. And you can see how that color in the background really pops him out. So we don't have to do a lot here. So let's add a little gray where I kind of messed up on that blue. We'll just add a little gray here. Most of the time you can fix anything. Sometimes I have to start all over, but the nice thing about this technique too is that you haven't invested a lot of time in it. Most of these little projects take just a few minutes. And even if you're just a beginner, you'll be surprised how fast you can put something out. That's what I love about it. See how dry my brush is? I mean, I have not really dipped it in water at all, and I'm just kind of dragging this down to, the, to, the, to his nose. This should be the, the lightest part of this little character. The lightest part should be right on the face. And you can put a few little stripes in here too, if you want to, up to you. Remember, this is just the idea of things. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's get the inside of this ear really good here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we are about finished. We just need to sign and date. That is always a must. And see how quick and easy that was? 
Thank you so much for watching. Put that on a card or put it in a frame and give it away. You won't believe how happy you will make someone. People just love that you have taken the time to make something for them like this. And the best thing about it, nobody will ever guess it's stamped. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And I will see you next week. Thank you.